Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 45 of Let's Play Xenogears. I'm right we're still in this area over here to uh, help out with, you know, everything that's going on in Shabbat. Looks like it could be a lone Gebber soldier, but we still haven't confirmed that that's true. Unfortunately, we can't take the short way, so we have to go the long way. Because reasons. <laughs> And of course, it led to a really long dungeon area with a few kinds of enemies that can be tricky. Especially these terrors, for instance. Remember not to use your absolute best death blow against them because they will certainly survive. Oh no, actually they will die. And then the one that's still left will have full health. That is something you definitely don't want, because that's how I got my first game over. I still like Maria's like, uh, put up your dukes, ah, come on, let's go, I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> oh, this is gonna hit everyone. Well, at least I'll soften up the other one I need to kill. Surely the queen would be appreciative of our efforts. And good night and good riddance. But this looks like another area where I have to like hit a crystal. Ooh, extra R plus five. I think that's our first one. Just to manipulate the windmills. Where exactly do we do that? Down here? No. I don't see where you're supposed to do it. Oh my god, really? I didn't get to go far! I've forgotten how the encounter rate in this place can be ass. Oh wow, this guy actually survived. Then again, Faye can't really one-shot these all the time. So there you go. It has been a little while since I recorded the uh, previous episode. So I'm still trying to get my bearings about as to like, why I'm here and why he's killed with all these enemies. And luckily I remember this one all too well. Just make sure you, uh, kill one. And if you can't kill the other, just use your weakest attack. That helps you avoid a catastrophe. You gotta remember that these guys can pretty much absorb ether damage. So don't let that be a thing. Okay, looks like we do have to go this way. That's a weird way to go. Like, I thought that would just be blocked off. Okay, looks like the crystal might be down here, I think. Alright, so let me guess. Maybe there is no crystal. And I'm just supposed to jump right then and there. Oh god. Oh, 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 that was close. Feels like I'm kind of shifting off. I think it's just by the angles. Oh, maybe I don't have to hit the crystal. I guess I can hit it anyway to see what happens. Maybe it's needed for when I go up? No, this takes me down. Never mind. This looks relatively normal, for the most part. No more windmill jumping, that's good. <laughs> Just these jerks. And I realize I haven't healed in a while. 
Which is crazy, because Billy can heal all of us. We're gonna try to run, even though there's literally nothing behind us. That constitutes an escape route. We'll just run into the wall, yeah. That, that looks so ridiculous. It's like a Looney Tunes cartoon. Amazing. <laughs> Alright, we're going down. It's like it's constantly just going down, like really. <laughs> we'll make it back to Earth at this rate. the door. And there's another door. And another set of stairs. I don't think I've ever had a fight happen like when I was in a stairwell. Which I guess would be very dangerous if you got in a fight on a stairwell that spirals down. Good lord, that went down a lot. Oh. Looks over this way. Won't be able to find out till later. And just these guys. <laughs> I remember how you deal with them. Just use, like, only weak attacks. Oh, for some reason, uh, Faye still got his EP drained. For some reason, I thought there was only something you had to do to get an EP drain, like use an ether attack. And apparently we didn't use one, and we still got an EP drain. It just seems a little bit more rare now. Which is good, because one of those attacks can really leave you completely disheveled on the EP front. Hey, Bill has a level 53. Oh, that's just another save point. Yeah, see? Faye only got hit by that once and is already down to zero. Well, it's a good thing he hardly ever uses EP attacks. So there isn't much of an urgency to go and uh, get that healed. So I think we'll just leave it be for now. Check out the other way. Once we get through that manhole, we'll be able to enter the hangar. Good. That's why we came here in the first place. Um, is this what we need to do? Oh, wait a minute. Wasn't the hangar over that way? I think I remember being in this room. Yeah, it's over here. Where is the intruder? Hmm. It's you again. You pests aren't making my job any easier. Dominia! Yeah, I said that. Never thought I'd come across Sibson in my place of escape. I'll take Sibson. Originally, this belonged to us, Solaris. I can't let you have the gear. Heh. <laughs> then try and stop me. Huh? That child. Hey, you! Are you the daughter of Nikolai? Undoubtedly, I am the daughter of Nikolai, Maria Balthazar. What about it? I see. So you're his beloved daughter to whom he offered himself to undertake that difficult task. I wonder how you know of them. Hey, young girl. Want to hear an interesting story? Let's see. 
How about the cursed secret of Saibzen? What do you mean? What do I mean? You'll understand it when you hear the story. For the past several decades, our scientists have put so much effort into the research to create evolved gears. Regardless of how great a pilot one is, as long as it is human, there will always exist a time lag and human error when interfacing with a machine. That's when your father, Nikolai, was targeted. He was a genius in the field of cranial nerve mechanisms. They made Nikolai search for a way for humans to go beyond humans, by merging humans and machines. In other words, they were tr trying to create a new life, an ultimate living weapon by connecting a living human brain to a gear directly. It would have stayed as a mere fantasy without Nikolai, and that genius made the fantasy come true. That's a lie! My father wouldn't do such a horrible thing! I don't lie, Maria. This is the truth. Your splendid father succeeded in fusing man and machine, and he opened the gates to hell for the lambs. As a matter of fact, various data and components obtained from the war in Ignis and the battling in Kislev were used as experimental materials. That is how the special humanoid mutants, Wells, were born. Wells created in Solaris were tested on the surface. Only the Wells that passed the test were dismantled, restructured, and reborn. They became the gear's central control circuit and became part of the machine. It's all the result of your father's great research. Saibzen is the prototype of a man-machine fusion gear. In other words, Saibzen was completely completed at the cost of innumerable land dwellers' lives. And in the nerve circuit of Saibzen lies... Don't you think you've said enough, Dominia? Who is it? I, I constantly just use like the wrong gender for voice because I don't know who's saying it. Why are women so gossipy? They jammer about things they shouldn't be talking about. Hopeless. The dad? Josiah? You? What are you doing in Shabbat? At one point, weren't you considered to be the next Gabler Commander-in-Chief? Don't get so excited. I think you've played with enough fire for today. Just go home. Maria is the only one who can operate Saibzen. You should be well aware of that. Hmm. Fools! Don't get so cocky. The party's just begun. But I guess it's alright. My mission is complete. All that's left is... Maria, I'm afraid I must go now. Enjoy your party. <laughs> What does she mean by that? Wait! Dominia! Father! I don't have a feeling that was a distraction. Hey, Maria. Don't mind what she told you. This is... It looks like our guests have arrived. Let's go upstairs. The Yggdrasil is also accommodated in the dock. I'm sure the other guys are making a fuss over it. I have an ominous premonition. I doubt it, but they could have... They could have what? What are you talking about? Who's they? Solarians? Sipson! The Solaris gear units are on a high speed interception course with Shavat. It would be reasonable to believe that their main targets are going to be the four gate generators. They are probably planning on finishing us off since Dominion's demolition has weakened the gate output. We have scrambled our interceptor units, but I do not know how they will fare. The people of Shavat are not accustomed to gear tactics. I want to avoid unnecessary sacrifices if at all possible. Yeah, I know, Doc. We'll go. 
We're already involved. And we can't just stand by and watch these people die. Hey. I don't like the idea of working for free. But I don't like the idea of turning tail and running from them even more. Let's do it. It doesn't matter who they are. I'll take them all down on my brigandeer. <laughs> yes. We'll do what we can to protect the people here. <laughs> Since the day I met you all, there's been nothing but trouble. But come this far with you all. I guess there's no point in bitching about it. I'll show them what happens when they take the Great Rico off. I will go too. The enemy was able to get in because they let the Adressil in. We can't allow the people of this country to be in danger because of us. Yeah, right on. Go for it, young uns. We're depending on you. Especially since my life also depends on it. I have no intention of kicking the bucket here. Shut up! Dad, could you not say anything? Alright, alright, I know. Why can't you be more nicer? Alright, Choo Choo's gonna chew help too! Going to help? Choo Choo, what are you doing here? Well, in all the bustle, she somehow tagged along. What am I gonna do? This isn't a game! It's dangerous, so go back to the dress hill. Okay, Choo Choo, be a good girl. Um, Choo Choo's not a good girl. I'm in that dangerous age right now. What dangerous age? And Choo Choo can help you. I'm going with all of you, yeah? Yeah? Alright. Don't come crying to me when things get out of hand. Heh! So they call you Choo Choo also. Many of your friends live in this city. You wanna go meet them later? Really? They're all here? Yay! I finally found them! Choo Choo's friends! They're here! Now let's put everything into it. Everyone? We have to give it our best shot. Here is a breakdown of the enemy gear units. As I've explained before, four separate units are each headed for their respective generators. From the information collected in Shabbat, we have a good idea of the capabilities and composition of the gear units. However, there is one giant gear that they are holding back that we have no information about. An unidentified giant gear? Can't be. Allow me to put it on screen. This is Oxen. What's with that creepy gear? Do you know anything, Maria? Oxen. It's the second gear my father designed. Saibzen's sister gear, but Aksen wasn't completed. Other than Saibzen, father didn't make any more. He was supposed to have burned the plants. So, why? People of Shavat, hear me. That voice. No, father. I'd heard some interesting rats had run into there. Just in time to test out Axen. I can take you and Shavad out all at once. Hello, little rats. Come on out. Come on, my cute little guinea pigs. Why that? Why is father? Calm down, Maria. It doesn't mean that Dr. Nikolai is inside. But, but, father's voice? Maria, get a hold of yourself. You intend to lose even before your fight? Against the very people who made you suffer? But... Well, that is fine. Let us consider our next move. We must repulse the gear forces and protect the generator. To do that, let us split into four teams and intercept the enemy. 
the four of us will attack independently and defend each generator to the death. The other two wait here. It is dangerous, but we cannot turn back now. If even one generator falls, it is a defeat for us. Maria, you, wait here. Please, Maria. Okay, I understand. Next, the formation of the enemy gear forces. At Generator 1, there are two small gears and a complement of Solaris troops. If you do not hit them fast and hard, you will get bogged down in a firefight. At Generator 2, there are three white knights. They are very fast and maneuverable. At Generator 3, there is a large gear and a white knight. Be careful, the large gear is some kind of special attack. At Generator 4, there is a large gear and a white knight. The large gear seems to be a power gear. Okay, so go to Generator 1. If we're dealing with like a large group, especially humans, anyone that's capable of doing like widespread damage to a group should go. So I'm thinking Ellie. Or Air Rods can probably do the job. The Generator 2 will need something that has like decent defense. So I think Billy can do this one. And for Generator 3, large gear, I'm thinking C Tan could take this one. And four, probably Faye. I don't think Rico is gonna do the job, and Bart has barely got much use. Understood. The target assignments are Generator 1 Ellie, Generator 2 Billy, Generator 3 C10, and Generator 4 Faye. Are these assignments okay? Yes. Please hurry and get the preparations for the battle in order. Now, is this alright? Uh, okay, so we can actually go get ready separately. When you are ready, we will leave for the battle. Please hurry now. The enemy is almost there. Got it. We've come this far. We're not gonna get beaten now. Well, that's convenient they give you time to be like, okay, you wanna save before you do this? Because bad things are about to go down. So let's take a look at our gears. You know, an extra R plus 4 ain't bad. How much does an extra R plus 5 do? Plus 20. Now I got a plus 5. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, this is... Oh, I'm reading the wrong thing. Plus 30. That's actually really good. Armor defense plus 15. Yeah, I think this can be replaced. Oh, but then I lose my agility and response. It's not worth it. I think our gear setup is okay. Well, I probably don't have to worry about Maria's because she's not coming with us. Alright, so let's just go to the save room now. Oh, we can actually change party members here, it looks like. And we're fully healed. I see you to join us, Margie. Actually, this might be pretty good because that allows us to outfit the other gears. Hey, I came here too. The inside of the dress hill smells like a men's locker room. I can't stand it anymore. Uh, change party, please. Well, I probably don't need to have Maria in the party now. Yeah, let's go with uh, Faye, C10, and Ellie. Because I am using those other characters for the generator defense. Let's see, do I have a frame HP 50? I probably don't. There you go, 
a C10, this one's yours. Hopefully we can find, like, another extra R50 later on. So anyway, let me stop here. I'll probably just do the save, like, off-screen. And in the next part, we're gonna defend the generators. Hopefully our teams are done well. See you everyone, thanks for watching.